I'm not on the turn order, but uh, it's not um, really hard. Okay, to so on. whenever you will initiative on all twenty, make sure that you select your character token before willing yeah, initiative. Yeah, I forgot to do that. But if you go ahead and do that now, you can always just change your initiative to what it's supposed to be. Well, it's not too hard to place me. No, uh, if you if you are not on the turn order, just we will. Oh, I have a second chance. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Significantly improved. <laughs> Exactly what I needed. <laughs> That's okay. impressive. <laughs> okay. So, Wondering is still looking elsewhere. I don't think he's noticed that the rest of you have actually walked in. Uh, hey guys, I just want to take a look at these wine bottles. They seem vintage. Ah. Oh, I also do want to mention, because everybody can see everybody else's name, if you want to double click on your character token and just change the name to your character's name. Cause like, I have no clue who half of you are <laughs> playing. <laughs> okay, uh, about the characters, uh, the numbers. I see I have, I'm guessing the green one is HPF, 10 HP. What's the blue one? AC. 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 Uh, uh, yeah. I have as much as AC as the person in at the top of the turn order. Great. So glad I got a two. It was an improvement. Technically, right. yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, how much AC do you have? I have 18. Oh, I also have 18. Tanks, yeah. Does yeah. it I mean, coming from second edition? That's super high AC. Is that not a lot? This for is super high in fifth characters? edition. That is like really yeah. high in fifth edition. <laughs> it it takes that sounds quite like a lot, a lot of, for a first level takes, character. Yeah. Well, it takes we, a lot of uh, challenge rating to get past it. I, I got chainmail in a shield. Same. You get, I'm guessing you have some dexterity bonus too. No, you no, don't get dexterity bonus. Armor. Armor. Uh, if, How much if AC case, does a shield give you? Two. Tw two. Plus two. But if okay. we have full plate mail with the shield, then we would have 20. Alright, so... Bungo, you are first in initiative. Yeah, uh... I pull out my weapons. Uh, do I have, like, dual wielding? I see I have two daggers and a short sword. Do I have dual wielding? Um, might have to check your... Everybody <laughs> can do a wheel. You just don't go and gain your proficiency of... bonus on your secondary attack. Yeah, and it well, takes no, a bonus. No, you do get the proficiency, you just don't get your ability modifier on damage. Oh, that's it, yeah. Mm. And you can do a bonus action if you do a wheel. I pull out my short sword, and I want to go over here. Here. All right. And, like, and I kind of ready, ready my weapon for anything that might come through the hole. I attack whatever comes through the hole. Okay. All right. So done. Helga. All right. I'm going to step forward over here and attack this one with my mace. Alright, uh, that's actually uh, a barricade, so it's... You said that that was down with the little... Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the boxes have mostly been chewed through, so there's a, there's a hole the size of a small creature there. Oh. Well, in that case, I'm going to stand right here and use Sacred Flame Gnome, because... Gnome Gnome's only. Yeah, no only. I'm sorry, say again. Stand there and... And use Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame, okay. At the um, one right on the other side of this. This one? Yep. Roll for it? I did, it has to roll a dexterity save. DC. Oh uh, yeah, uh, Spell casting. Yes.
So, I basically walk up and... Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, nothing uh, happens then. But I just kind of, like, blindly throw over a sacred flame. And that's my turn. Alright, you, you, manage, you manage to blacken some of the floorboards. But uh, otherwise, the wet, it's pretty much unharmed. Guys, I think I got it. But <laughs> what? I don't Good know. One. I can't really see. <laughs> All right. So right, I use... how's how's the lighting in the basement here? Are there any torches lit inside, or is it completely dark? Uh that there, there are some high casement windows, so the place is lighted sufficiently. Oh, okay. So dimly lit, or. Uh, uh, well, good enough for you to see to see what you're doing. Okay, okay. All right. So, Helga, are you staying there? Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. JJ, you're up. All right. I move forward a bit. Like here. And I am. Um, Use my bonus action to inspire uh, Bungo. Yeah, yeah, you can hit it when it comes through. I don't know. All right. Yeah, I'm sure you can use my D6 die on attacks or stuff. All right, so and Bungo. And then I um, just, let me see what I can do. I don't think I can do much. Draw my, so my swords and also wait if red comes through, um, so that I can hit it. Alright. Okay, so JJ has uh, used by the inspiration on Bungo. Yeah, All right. What does that mean? Do I get advantage or what? Uh, you, um, when you roll for something, you can choose to add a d6 to it. Okay. Within the next 10 minutes of game time. Okay, so... Is in combat time? Is that ten rounds? In combat uh, time, that's no, effectively it, forever. A hundred rounds. That's a hundred rounds. Yeah. yeah Don't worry about that's it. That's effectively Every forever in combat seconds. time. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, next. Can I? Can I uh, say I get in my backpack? I pull out some breadcrumbs and put it on the ground in front of the hole. All right. Interesting. Go ahead. And I and and I wait with my sword drawn, like for whatever comes through the hole. Okay. Um, move your character. Right here. Oh wait, sorry. That was Bungo. Yeah. Uh, alright, sorry, uh, next turn. Is it too late for that? Okay. Yeah, next turn. Uh, sorry. Let me very end. Do, do I have line of sight of the giant rat in front of me? Sorry? Do I have line of sight of the giant rat in front of me? Uh, yes, you do. It's, be, uh, it's behind a quarter cover. I'll go ahead and cast Magic Missile at it. Alright. So, just click on it, click on Magic Missile in your character sheet. moment now. It's not casting. I think uh, it's you gotta probably select popping your target up a too. thing that's asking you what level you want to cast it at. You just Maybe gotta... you have to click the target of your... Are you, you looking know. in your spell tab? Yes, I'm looking at my spell tab. Uh, yeah, when you click on it, there's a pop-up window which may be hidden. Uh, which asks you what level you want to cast at. 
So you might want to move your character sheet around. Move your character sheet so that way you might be able to see. There we go. Okay. Oh, I got it. And you get right. three more of those missiles, I think. So, because that only rolled for one. Alright, magic missile, uh, three, level one, three dots. Yep. Alright, so that's 10 damage to the rat. Alright, so you hit the rat with, with the second dart, the rat falls dead. With the third dart, well, you throw it into the air and it comes down in small pieces. Alright, one rat down. What are people okay. fighting back there? I'm sorry? Uh, I'm making a joke on how my initiative is won. <laughs> okay, so now the rats move. All right. Uh, so, Hel Helga gets hit. Uh, well, Helga gets hit twice. Oh no! Helga's the rogue, right? Hel no, uh, I'm the. No, Helga I'm a is the cleric. Yep. Oh, Helga's the cleric. Uh, that's fine. You are used to being poor and having stuff bite on you. <laughs> I, I already have to get rid of your poison once. Well, that first one hits. And that second one misses. Oh. Alright. Uh, Do I get my attack your... now? Uh, one moment, there's one more red to go. Okay. Alright, so Helga gets hit, gets beaten once uh, for 5 damage. Okay, uh, next. Let's uh, see. Bungo gets the, the ready to attack. I believe I should. Uh, me too. I believe I should have an attack. Uh, uh, actually, uh, Aramir gets attacked because he's drawn the most attention with his flashy magic missiles. So, uh, but I had an attack be... ready for any yeah. for anything that comes ready. through the hole. I didn't attack yet. I said I ready my attack. Oh, and right. so did I. That's that's right. All right, roll for it, Mango. So I have one of these. Ooh. Uh, fantastic. Uh, uh, oh, it's an actual one. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, so. While the rat is biting on Aramil, you are swinging at the crates. I had so, ready to attack too. Nice. Uh, no, you've, uh, you've already used by the inspiration, that's an action? Or is that a bonus, a bonus action? Bonus. That's a bonus action. Ah, okay. Uh, I, I had inspiration. Do I add well, something to this? That's not gonna help you here. Yeah. No? You're rolling one. Ah, Anything okay. else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, all right. So JJ, roll, roll for it. Roll your attack. Great. You hit. So so seven damage. All right. So right as the rat is rushing for Aramil, you stick your sword in the way and it impales itself on your sword. You've Yay! got you've got rat kebab. Yum. Hey, I can cook that. 
<laughs> Sacred flame it. Salmon hug, I'm really Doing the good old uh, dragon breath. Cooking method. <laughs> Alright, Thor, you are up. Alright, I'm gonna move next to the giant rat. How do I move it? Uh, uh you have to the, select the, the, the Yeah, select the cursor. At the top left there's going to be a little mouse thing. Click on that, and then just pick up your character token and move it over there. Alright. I'm gonna turn it around. Uh, smash the giant rat with my uh, by the left. Okay. You have advantage because flanking. Yes, you are flanking it. You have uh, attack advantage. Not oh, like nice. Know. Nice roll. Great. Okay, the, the rat gets cut into two pieces on the spot. Alright. Alright, finally my turn. Go team. All right, I'm going to uh, try and charge straight through the uh, the barricade, holding my shield up. Okay, the the barri the barricade is uh, about chest high. Ah, well, it's not like I'm going to vault over it with my chainmail. Uh, do I roll a strength check to try and get through it? Uh. All right. Let me warn you. It looks pretty. It looks pretty heavy, though. Uh, well, actually, can you bring up a cone, please? I'm sorry. Can you bring up a 15-foot cone? Uh, I might try something dangerous. 15-foot cone. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to do that. Actually, wait. I think uh, you can pull one up. Um, not exactly, you just kind of got a charm. Alright, okay, there you go, yeah. And there's... Oh, right! <laughs> Gold Dragon Eyes! 15 foot is up to here. Will I hit Helga if I do that? Nah, you'll be fine. Well, blast him. Alright. Okay, so it gets uh, a bit burnt, but still fine otherwise. Well, what happened to the barricade? Ah, uh, well, the barricades are now blackened and slightly smoldering, but otherwise, yeah. Okay, the this one, this barricade crumbles entirely. Well, at least we've got a way through now. <laughs> All right. Oh, my turn again. Yes, Bungo. So we keep the init the first round of initiatives. It we keep that until the end of combat. Yeah. Yes, you do. Okay. There was um, an alternate well, rule this... about rolling initiative every turn, but no GM ever uses it because it's annoying. Oh yeah, that's how I I do it in second edition. It's it takes a long time. Yeah. 
Well, uh, could I crawl through this hole next to me? Uh, you can. You can either. You can I'm try. Yeah, you you can you can run through it. It it fits a small creature, which is your size. So if you if you crawl through it, you treat it as difficult terrain. It will cost you ten ten movement. Okay, I can move thirty feet, right? Yep. Well, this is what five. It's about ten. twenty feet of movement. I can I can move then. Then I I will crawl through the hole up to this rat and attack it. All right. So, go go short sword. Uh, you can probably use your dual wielding. Oh, it's dead probably with that. I want to keep my distance. These things are disgusting and they're probably carrying diseases. Uh, Helga's going to know sooner or later. Uh, <laughs> Alright, uh, you managed to cut off, it, cut off his head. Nice. Alright, Helga, it, it is your turn. Alright, I'm going to mace in the face. Uh, on what? On the one right in front of me. I'm. This. Oh right, right. So sorry, I with all the drawings there, I kind of miss it on the map my time. My bad. Does a twelve so. hit? Uh, yes. Maybe. It, yeah. it tries to dodge, but you barely hit it. Uh, does it die to the fire damage I caused it to it earlier? No, it does not. It's. It's hurt, but it's, st it's still on its limbs. Alright, in that case, uh, bonus action Sanctuary. And on myself. And I'm going to move through its space onto the other side, provoking an attack. Um, okay. Are you a small creep? Oh, wait, no, that I caused that to be open. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's uh, destroyed now. So, it gets an attack opportunity, but first it would have to succeed at a wisdom save. Well, oh, either way that misses, but... Yeah. For future reference, right. things have to do wisdom saves before they attack me. I, I'm and sorry? And I, I yeah, use Sanctuary... Do, yeah. yeah. Oh, you use Sanctuary. Yeah, but that misses me anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, yeah, and I think I missed the Sanctuary, but yeah. Gonna move over here, so that way hopefully things will attack me before Bongo. And that's my turn. Alright, so the cleric is becoming the tank. Alright, done? I'm fine with that. It doesn't help that the tank takes forever to get there. <laughs> Well, tanks are slow, generally. Alright, JJ. one initiative slow. <laughs> okay, um... I'm gonna... Can I try to jump onto the barricade? Like, here? Okay, you want to try jumping onto the barricade? So that I can actually see what's going on behind me. Uh, do you want to jump onto it or over it? Onto it. Onto it. Alright, uh, give me a DC 13 at athletics check. Okay, let me start the body. Okay, no! Uh, hey! Alright, you, you bump right into the crates and fell on your butt. You slip on dead Exactly rack. why I didn't I even try. I really quickly and sort of pretend like nothing happened and hope everybody was focused on the rest. Uh, um, I've still got my action, right? Um, yeah. Hey, didn't Can see I still you echoing everything? What? Alright. So, uh, 
you, you fall down. So getting up costs you 15 movements. Uh, that's an, another 10 movement for... Can I just take one step here and hit that hard? All right, yep. Okay. But yeah, Dennis, anytime anybody talks, it kind of echoes through your mic. Are you on speakers? I'm using push to talk, though. Oh. I guess that hits. It should. Yes, it hits. And uh, uh, you've, you now have two reds kebab on your side. Shish kebab. One is already slightly cooked for you. Lovely. <laughs> Very slightly. Rotisserie rat. Okay, Aramil. Okay, I... Uh, I'd like to jump over the, the barricade. Sorry, I didn't catch that. He wants Let me to jump, jump over, over the barricade. barricade. All right. Give me an athletics check. Oh, <laughs> you fall on your butt as well. First the door, now this. I sort of give him a look like, well, I guess we shouldn't try that again. <laughs> and I just give a slight, I give a slight nod out of, out of pure embarrassment. <laughs> well, I just did it too, so. <laughs> I give out a, and, light, a light chuckle. And I will just, I'll just end my turn there. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, the last threat, if you want to cast magic missile, the last threat is within is within sight of you. Oh, well, hell yeah, then. So your last your last magic missile hits and the rat flies off into a distance. <laughs> Alright, uh, there's no more there's no more big rats, although there might be a few normal sized ones running around. Yeah, I start searching for any signs of other big rats. Uh no, there there are no other signs of big rats. There's there's no hole. There's no there's honestly no way they could have gotten in besides the oh. door. So Larry yeah, probably set us up. Yeah, uh, well, possibly, maybe. Is is there any cheese wheels in the, in in here? <laughs> uh, that's that's a. Few cheese crumbs on the floor. So there must be more somewhere. I look for cheese. I wanna I wanna get like a big That's cheese. Probably wheel. not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Ilaria shows up at the head of the stairs. While you are looking around for cheese. Okay, when she arrives I just ask like I'm looking for rats and stop searching for cheese. <laughs> All right, so she's clapping her hands. Excellent work. Uh, uh, other than taking half an hour to get through the door, you guys are one of the most impressive groups of students I've had in a century. She, she does not have <laughs> high standards, does she? <laughs> you, uh. Well, it's so, not a climbing school. We're, we're not well known for breaking down doors, miss. Hilaria's <laughs> cool for special adventurers. 
<laughs> she looks at her ladders and groans. I always forget how expensive this test is. Alright, no problem. I'll clean up and I think you all have earned the rest of the day off. Uh, that was traumatic. We definitely need it. <laughs> Just the door alone. Oh yeah, no, I need, I need like at least half a day to take a nap. Just think about what happened today. It's scarred for life. All right. So, uh, okay. That basically, at this point, the adventure is going to fast forward uh, half a year. All right. So, it's six months later. And the six, the six of you have just graduated. So, in an, an entire year, and our biggest achievement was killing rats and a door. Yeah, that's only half a year. Let's let's take the rats as your first test, not your final test. That was adventure um, one hundred one. <laughs> All right, so right now you are in Powerball. Okay, I'm um, loading the map again. Okay, so okay, you, are, in the city. you are in the town of Powerball. It's a small village, uh, mostly miners and explorers. The surrounding is mostly wilderness. Okay, uh, so the economy, economy is mostly by miners, uh, silver, silver mines in the Kaigan range, mithril in the icebound pits, and explorers like you guys who go out, kill monsters, feed monsters. Okay, um, let's see. It's, it's also, there's also plenty of shit because it's not very, it's not very lawful. Mm. Alright, so three days ago, Ilaria Faring passed away. Uh, you were her, you were her final pupils. And the same, the same night that uh, she graduated the bunch of you, she passed away in her sleep. That's a bad okay. omen. That's okay. weird. Yeah. Okay. Um, basically, for, like... for, an, for an elf, she was middle age. Uh, but, uh, yeah. How do we find out? Does one of our, us go to wake her up and she doesn't answer? Or? Uh, it, it seems that she died naturally in her sleep. So you are at her funeral now. As per the instructions in her last will and testament, she was buried quickly and simply. Okay, so many many of the citizens of Parabon attended the funeral, but because there was short notice, uh, the only, her only students there are you, the six of you. Okay, so uh, now Golana, who is the local dwarf priestess running the holy beacon, the temple, the local temple, is asking all of you to share a few memories about Ilaria and eulogy. Well, I, I knew Ilaria for so long. She was a great master. I, I fondly remember the first time we shared cheese together. It was a whole big wheel, delicious cheese. She had the best cheese. She was a great, a great, great trainer. I'll never forget. <laughs> Rest in peace, Ilaria. And, and I, I, I wipe my tears off and then start eating cheese. <laughs> just pull out like a big hunk of cheese out of my pocket and leave eating it. I, I step forward and I say, Ilaria was a great mentor. She gave me both my shield and my pride to become an adventurer. I will miss her. I bow my head and step back. I step forward. And then it's saying, um, Ilaria never cared that 
I am tiefling, which is more than I can say about most people. And for that, I'm always going to be grateful to her. And I step back. I step forward. I'll step forward. Oh, and okay, I step back. Then. Say that Ilaria was the greatest teacher that I have ever had. And speak a few, say a few words in Elvish, and then return to where I was. I step forward. Aloya put many challenges in our path on our way to this, and despite how many locked doors there have been, we found a way to break through them. Aloya will be missed, and may Shantia's blessing seek her through the afterlife. I step back. I step forward. Uh, look at the grave, look down, and I look back up, and I step back. All right, very touching. Uh, so, so other than those eating cheese, so, so the entire three times of Bungo eats when he's sad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but for for the rest of them who aren't halflings, they don't quite get it. They're like. He's eating cheese and finger roll. We uh, all be very Dennis, I have ways. a question. <laughs> yeah? Uh, Dennis, I have a question. Uh, is, um, are the gods like the regular ones? Bahamut and all that? Uh, in this universe? Alright, so... Uh, right now... Uh, Uh, you you broke off there. The, yeah. the, the, whole, the holy beacon. As you are leaving, uh, Yelsa, who is the the only solicitor in Parabol, comes up to you. Comes up to your party. She she's wiping tears from her eyes. And she she talks to she talks to you all. So Miss Faring spoke fondly of all of you. You are all mentioned in her last will and testament. Uh, Sorry, Dennis, one can, I, can I ask you to write these characters' names in the chat when you present them? Like this this uh, lady, what's her name? Can you write it in chat? Alright, give me give me one one minute. Uh real life just came up. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna make